Welcome back to Good Morning Football. I'm Peter Schrager. I'm in Indianapolis. This gentleman right here is the general manager of the Detroit Lions, Mr. Brad Holmes. Welcome to Good Morning Football. Thanks for having me. Love Good having to be back you here. here in Indy, man. Good to be back in Indy. It was a little nostalgia, you know, making the drive down and knowing how much I miss uh, coming down and getting this process started. But got some clarity from the Senior Bowl, so now we get some more clarity this week here in Indy. The purpose of the Combine is you want to have everybody here that you think might have a chance to get drafted. You have that thorough medical information and all that, you just keep following up with them, not only here, but through the pro day process. And then the guys that did not get invited here, you got to be just as diligent and thorough in your process with those guys. And I mean, that's what we'll do. We're early in this process, but I know there's, there's guys in here that can play football. And, uh, keep our eyes open but there again it's got to be the right guy and the right fit for us it is about finding the right guy that you really believe in like if you believe in him and you think he can grow and you think he's he can develop and he's and he's smart I want to I want to know he's the right fit and the right makeup uh, internally before uh, the external comes into play I just think that's big we need to do is just continue to add pieces that can compete to come in there and mix it up because when you do that then you find the best guys the three main components of the combine which every team is obviously directly involved in and, and trying to get information out of is the medical testing the comprehensive physical exams for every player that attends the combine then formal interviews which are structured with kind of your, your top decision makers with every team uh, the third thing obviously then the, the workouts on the field all the things that basically teams are going to want to know you know if they're going to invest you know potentially millions of dollars into you know potential draft picks and Players that they'll sign after the draft, they want to know everything about them. Like, what can we can do draft you with? Or what are you going to do? What's the best thing you do? He plays his ass on the This dude can treat him then you go to the other games okay. and you go, I know that. Very That's a whole Each team gets to select 45 players that they basically say, hey, we want to spend uh, private time with these players. It's a 20 minute block. Uh, once the door's shut, you get a chance to ask a bunch of questions and assessing the player's ability to learn. Maybe it's the ability to process information. Maybe you use that block to install a play or maybe you ask background questions, to find out more about the player. I'm interested to see what he's doing with his knowledge, right? Like, what do I do with this? The position drills, they're all broken down into specific positions so that you're, you're looking, essentially evaluating players, you know, comparatively at the same position at the same time. You know, you're evaluating movement ability. Uh, you're evaluating their skill set. It's all pieces of the puzzle. All this information, there's nothing that's, that's more important in terms of the evaluation of a player than their ability to play football. I'm in my 11th season with the team, uh, my fourth season as a pro scout. Before I joined the Lions, I worked for two years for National Football Scouting, the organization that helps run the Combine. You're acquiring information. That's ultimately what we do at the Combine. It's, it's something I'm very familiar with. And you know, so to lend that kind of expertise, that experience to help our staff. This is what we gotta do though, guys. We gotta identify these guys with love. Stack the board and then we just, then we start targeting and let Brad go to work. That's what we gotta do. Every box has been checked. Um, you know, no stones left unturned leading into the draft, and we add that to what we've already, what we've uh, previously evaluated, and we go forward in the process. 
if you want to come to Detroit, you're going to be gritty, and uh, you're going to be with a bunch of guys that freaking love the game. They're going to give all their heart and soul. That's what we're about, and that's what they know. Bringing back a lot of our own guys, first of all, they wanted to come back. I think that's a testament to our organization, everybody in our building, is that those guys wanted to come back. It means a lot. This is home for me. Uh, I've been here, like you said, four years already. You know, I know this whole city. I have met a lot of people out here who I made family. And so, you know, it's a blessing. It's a blessing to be able to start, uh, stay where I started at, you know? And so, you know, I'm, I'm very happy. My family's happy and we're all excited to be back. NFL free agency heating up. Tracy Walker back on a three-year deal, according to reports. Dude, welcome back, brother. Glad to be there. Good to have you, man. That's what I love about Detroit. I love Detroit because it's a hard-working city, you know? Of course, Detroit has its ups and downs, but at the end of the day, you know, it's a great place. That's it, man. It's a great feeling to be able to just already be here with family members and with friends that we already have here. I'm fired up to get you, man. Man, I was fired up to be back. I can't hear that too. You belong here. You know what I mean? Oh, you belong sure. here. So you're one of the guys we were talking about. And we did this thing, right? All you had to go through, all the stuff you had to go through. Like it's gonna make it that much sweeter. You know what I mean? Man, I so now this is, you know, this is yours. Yes, sir. So what do you want to do with it? You're one of these guys and you're one of the core. I'm gonna be one of those guys, you know what I'm gonna... I know. I know. Let's go do it, huh? Yes, sir. All right, man. Fired up, dude. For me to just be here today and to be able to just admit that I had to overcome a lot and to see where I've came from, you know, that, like I said, that's a blessing in itself, bro. Coming from a little small town, Brunswick, Georgia, to be all the way in Detroit, Michigan. Like, I never thought I would be in Detroit, you know what I mean? Let alone working here, playing, playing the game I love and doing what I do best, you know? So. Man, it's nothing but blessings. I'm just thankful for my support system, man. Without my support system, man, I wouldn't be nothing. If I didn't have my wife and my son, my family members, my, my sisters, my mom and dad, you know, uh, where would I be, you know? That's my purpose. Actually, I appreciate it. I would have more excited to just come back. Because you know there's still more. Yeah, right. You know, just the perseverance, man, adversity, just gotta be basically rewarded for the work that you put in, man. I think that's something that's important, not only for you, but also for the young folks, man. And you already know we think of you, so let's go get ready to go drive this bus. Like I said, that says a lot, uh, and the belief that they have in me, and who am I to go against that? Who am I to not go where I'm wanted, you know? I'm, I'm, I was wanted by Detroit, you know what I mean? And like I said, I wanted to be in Detroit, so for me to be able to come back, you know, it's exciting for me, you know? I, I already kind of had an idea, and I already figured in my head that I was coming back. It just was a matter of time. For, and just, I just had to make the decision. I told y'all I was coming. Oh, man. Yeah, man. I told you I was coming. When you going to wear the chain, man? Yeah, whatever you ready. I want to wear it right now. You yours? <laughs> Put it on. Oh, yeah. Hey, G, they taking photos of my Oh, man. <laughs> There you go. Look, they hit me too. Let's time to get some real ones. Hey, hey, E, all we got to do is get AG some buffs now. It's over. Hey, man, this thing hit me. Come get this thing off my head. Brad Holmes said they're trying to find guys who fit their culture. DJ Chark, their new wide receiver, a one year deal. Pick the Lions for that culture and a chance to prove himself on a one year contract. We are thrilled to welcome DJ, his wife Chantel, and his beautiful family to our Lions family and in this great community of Detroit. Hey, Thank you. I appreciate it. I love you, man. Yeah. <laughs> It's easier to talk about the stats and all of his accomplishments. He's got him! Touchdown! DJ Chark! End zone, it is caught! <laughs> that is Chark for the touchdown! The, the real thing is we're all about culture and we're all about fit. And that's what that's what DJ is going to bring is he, he fits what we're all about. Thank you, thank you for bringing me aboard. Absolutely. Absolutely. Well, you get used to it. It's, the, it's culture here, man. 
because you know everybody has fun coming to work. Yeah, so, you'll enjoy it. Yeah, but just have it for you. Yes, sir. Yeah, yeah, great fit, man. Absolutely, yes, great fit. You have players that are on a football team, you have football players, and DJ's a football player. And so that's why he's a fit for us, and that was most important is the culture fit, but he obviously is, has a lot of talent, has a lot of ability, and um, we uh, forecast for him to be very, very successful and be a very, a very great fit here. The culture is big, and that's something that, you know, I really want, I really want to be part of, like a family, and it feels like I'm entering one, I've been accepted. Uh, so now I feel like it's on me to, you know, prove myself, obviously, but I feel very comfortable and I feel like this was a very comfortable decision for me. What up? How you doing? I appreciate the opportunity to come here and uh, show what I can do. I truly appreciate the way that this staff kept that team together and have faith in, in those guys. And I know that means a lot to them. And so I'm, I'm ready to be a part of it. I talked to somebody with the Lions this morning and they think that he is a perfect fit for their football team. Um, just in terms of the dynamic, the culture they continue to try to build. Because of the players that proved that they fit into this culture, this gritty culture that is completely hinged upon team, 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 they wanted to come back. So Charles Harris, who led them in sacks, seven and a half of them last season, Alex Anzalone, their green dot. So the leader in the middle of their defense they bring back. All good things, all blessings. Yeah. All blessings. Josh Reynolds is going to be coming back. There he is. Let's go, baby. Hey, how are you doing? Yeah, how about that? <laughs> and again, the source that I spoke to this morning said, we're excited because these are all guys that have proved they fit in our culture. Hey, how are you? It's nice to meet you. Thank you. Thank you. Well, welcome. Really happy to have you. Awesome. Great. Well, wonderful to have you. This is great. Really terrific. Oh, yeah. I've met him yet. I'm sure he's part of the tour. Yeah. What's going on? How are you doing? You should feel good, Chris. Not everybody comes in here and makes the honor. I feel a little special. You got both of them. How are you, man? Good. How are you? Real good. Excited to have you. Excited to be here. Yeah. <laughs> what up, brother? You good? Good to see you too, man. Okay. 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 All right. Congratulations, sir. Right. Hey, huge. Glad to have you, brother. Yes, sir. Thank you. The theme is clear with the Lions and their free agency plan. The guys they're taking a chance on, they love the opportunity, and they make it very clear they love Dan Campbell. Welcome back, dude. Breaking news from the 2022 Annual League meeting in Palm Beach, Florida. We are going to see a whole lot more of Dan Campbell this year on Hard Knocks training camp. The Detroit Lions yeah. Let's go. are Let's the go. Hard Knocks team this year. It premieres August 9th. I'm very excited. the league meeting. Palm Beach, Florida. Andrew Siciliano, this definitely is Tom Pelissero, and this is without a doubt down there, the president of the Detroit Lions, Rod Wood. How are you, sir? I'm doing great. I think everybody immediately got excited when they saw the Hard Knocks announcement because we're going to get behind the scenes looks at your head coach, Dan Campbell. If you already like him, you're going to love him by the time Hard Knocks is over with, and uh, he's everything you think he is, plus way more than that. I'm, I'm really excited for for your, the whole country to get to know him better and uh, the rest of our staff as well. I think it's great for the fans, you know, the fans drive our game and they're, they're everything, so I'm fired up about it this year. All right, the other big thing today, the 2024 NFL Draft. Today, we are here to announce and I'm very excited to announce that the 2024 NFL Draft will take place in the city of Detroit. Not just the Lions, the city of Detroit, Visit Detroit, the Detroit Sports Commission have just been incredible partners. And we are thrilled uh, to bring this event that has grown every single year to the city of Detroit. I know our people back in Detroit are ex excited. They're honking their horns. They're so excited right there. That's yeah. one of our fans right that was there. That's a Ford. <laughs> we really started working on it four or five years ago, as soon as the uh, league made it available to bid on the draft. It's been a long time since we've hosted a big event like this. I think it was the 2009 uh, Final Four at Ford Field. So to be selected and put on a, a show for the whole world, uh, 
because everybody watches the draft, not just football fans. Uh, it should be really exciting. This is a great day for us. It really is terrifically exciting. I think it will be huge for our wonderful city to showcase itself and our fans, and we are very, very proud. So we're very excited to show the world what we're all about. I promise we will put on a wonderful show. 2024 is gonna be a great draft.